the Dodge Charger and Challenger are relatively large, roomy vehicles, but there's still a limit to how much stuff and how many people you can put inside them. And that's why Dodge has given us this, the Durango SRT. All the performance of those models, but packed into this SUV body. The idea is that you can carry your whole family, or throw a mountain bike in the back, or tow up to 8,700 pounds, or even drive through snow and rain and ice. But you still get all the performance that you might expect from anything else with the SRT badge on the front. And to that end, the Durango SRT has all the bits you've come to expect from cars with a 392 fender badge, a 6.4 litre Hemi V8, lots of extra cooling and air intake ducts, bigger brakes, adaptive upgraded suspension, and big sticky tires on the 20 inch wheels. So I'm gonna put it to the test by taking this thing out on Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's unleash that Hemi. sound and what a way that this engine pulls. I've always liked this engine, this 6.4 liter Hemi, going 100 miles an hour now before we hit the braking zone in a vehicle that is rather large and heavy. There's really an impressive amount of power from this Durango. Pretty much all the electronics dialed up into track mode, uh, which means that the eight-speed automatic doesn't fight me and just does exactly what I say from these little paddle shifters, which are positioned perfectly for my fingers. And as I go into the infield complex and some of these turns, I have to say this car is pretty easy to position. It's very easy to see where you're pointing the nose and there's a lot of precision from the front end. The steering feels a little bit slow sometimes, especially in some of the slower technical things. But again, this is a vehicle that you might be towing with. You don't want it to be too twitchy. Overall though, I love the composure that we've got here. Not too much dive or pitch or roll with the adaptive suspension dialed all the way up to the maximum definitely feel very controlled and not nervous at all that this car is going to fight me back or that do something I don't expect. So based on just a couple of laps, I mean, the Durango SRT really impresses me with its control, with its fun factor, with the fact that it feels like this vehicle shrinks around you. I completely forget about those other two rows of seats behind me and the tow hitch on the back and things like that. I'm just focused on having a ton of fun out here. So far, the Durango SRT has really impressed me being out here on track at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So let's go out and hit the public road and see what it's like when you're not tearing around like this. So now I'm out on these lovely scenic by roads in Indiana. And one thing that I noticed straight away is that I still hear that V8 burble all the time. And that's really good, right? It sounds great. But there's been a couple of times when we've just been driving on the highway and I thought, I wish I could maybe turn it down a little bit. This is definitely also still a Durango when we're driving it around. I mean, I have a lot of space around me. There's a Blu-ray DVD player for the second row seats, touchscreen navigation with Android Auto. And aside from the engine bubbling, it's really a pretty quiet and civilized ride. With the suspension set in this street mode, I think the ride quality is pretty good considering we've got pretty big wheels and tires on here. But even in the street mode, the body motions of this car are really, really well controlled. I mean, you can see that this is a pretty twisty road with a lot of elevation change and a lot of unexpected crests and bumps. And yet the Durango SRC still stays really, really flat. It's really focused and certainly doesn't give me any surprises when we're going through it. You know, usually an SUV wouldn't be my weapon of choice for driving on twisty, windy, hilly roads like this, especially not one that's this long and has three rows of seats. But that's what's really impressive about the Durango SRT is it doesn't feel as big as it is and it gives you a lot of confidence to drive really, really briskly on this type of road. And that's part of what makes it so much fun. I'm really impressed with the Durango SRT so far because I think it really lives up to its billing of being a charger in an SUV's body. Out on the track, it's so fast, so capable, with tons of grip. Out on public roads, it's huge fun to drive too. But you haven't compromised or lost anything that you get in a regular Durango. In fact, it can even tow more than a regular Durango. It can still seat three rows of people and still has all the same luxury features we've come to expect from this vehicle. So to me, if I had to drive around in one vehicle to do everything all year round, the Durango SRT makes a really great case for itself.